15th was the first time that I, uh, I shot someone. It was um, a <laughs> day that I don't really forget. What's amazing is that it looks like biblical times. You have a river running through it, there's no electricity. You still have donkeys moving stuff from point A to point B. They're dressed in traditional garb. No sign that anything is store-bought and everything's handmade. It is as close to biblical times as I've ever seen in my life. There are parts of the country that if you do have something modern, they'll kill you. The first time we walked up the hill, the first time we went up to go meet these guys, and they're staring at us and we're staring at them. I'm thinking, oh man, what are they gonna be like? Am I gonna get along with them? Is this gonna work? Are they gonna like me? And, you know, how am I gonna train these guys? When we got there, Shao Lee was talking to me and one of the things that he said to me that struck me funny, and he says, tell me, Captain, tell me, what will you tell me about war? And I'm like, well, all right, I'm not here to tell you about war, so I'm here to teach you how to do all this stuff. He says, really? He says, well, let me give you some of my background. I fought against the Russians for eight years in the Russian-Afghan war. And then I fought against the Taliban in the Afghan civil war. And for the past three years, I've been fighting for you Americans against the Taliban. Now tell me, Captain, what will you tell me about war? When we saw the mountains, Bruno said, uh, oh, those are the mountains. There's the mountains, we were close. And I said, yeah, we're only about, and then. I was like, you know, I've lived, lived that, that scene like a thousand times in my brain, man. And the only part about it that was good was when he called my name. Because I knew he was gonna come. I knew he would come. I knew that, I knew that he would come. Because I've never been more scared in my life. I was never more scared, I, I thought I was dead. The hardest thing is to sit on the other end of a radio and listen to your buddies get in a firefight. The words over the radio was, they're all dead, they're all dead. And I remember thinking, there's no way, no way. I'm not gonna believe that. We're gonna get up there and you know, figure this out. How we made it out, none of us really know. Because we'd look at the ground and we'd feel it just thud and we'd see this movement of dirt left and right and it was just, it was like we were on living ground. God, I wonder if I have been shot. Nah, I'd know if I was shot. I better just keep running. From there, we started the grueling task of putting the bodies in the body bag. Probably one of the worst duties that uh, I've ever had to do. They flat out said our plan is to attack and overrun the patrol base at all and kill the Americans. Paul and I looked at each other and we said, well, <laughs> now at least we know what's coming. July 27th is my luckiest day. I've never seen so much violence. 